It's a free space. And now for our feature presentation. Welcome to the family theater. Backstage. We'll be the Howard family this time, and hello everybody once again. It's now time for our third episode of the Breezy Saturday Family Feud PlayStation Marathon. Yay! This is our second. This is uh, we're at the near the start of our second season. This is our third episode into the new season, and we have the following guests in the forms of Ready Unknown Fox. He's a foxy boxy this time. <laughs> Four one two Hamrock. C3PO626. Oh. And the master of dumb answers, Mikey Batten. Really? I think I'm here in the house. Yeah. 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 But keep in mind, Mikey, no. Corey's here also. Give him a hand. Yeah, Family, number one. <laughs> nope, I've got it, and so does Jay. They're from. Yeah, someone I know that does. That's 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 if I give a sneeze. You know what's gonna happen. <laughs> Watch that foul now. <laughs> you know what? Hang on a second. You know what? Come on, Beckham again. I just you can't do is be too sassy, or otherwise. <laughs> Ladies here. <laughs> so which family, what part of my family dude are we doing? The PlayStation. PlayStation. Oh, okay. Breezy Saturday Family Key PlayStation Marathon. Movies. Okay, family number one. Question is, name something that Jane Fonda is famous for. We've had this question numerous times, so I'm giving the lower popular answers first. Hi. And yeah, and when we go to Fast Money, Mikey will be going first, so that way he can give a dumb answer. Very good. I got one. Yeah. Hang on a second, people. Your answer, number two. There we go. Famous for her smile? That is incorrect. All right. Show me that. We'll have to make do with this for now. You fail. Good answer. But it wasn't in my top four. Oh, crap. Player. We're going to play, Louie. Family number one. And how many games are we doing in this marathon? Four. Oh, right. Four games. Freezy Saturday Family Key plays the marathon. Jane Fonda is famous for her father, Henry Fonda. Come here, Tiger. Come here. Come here. Oh, also, Mikey, I'm doing something new this season. Oh, that? For each time Louis says, good answer, good answer, my Skype guests yeah. get a bonus $1,000. Sweet. Add it to any run you want, or just keep it as a bonus. It's a bonus for this. Ow! You spank me, I'll spank your Louis Anderson. 
<laughs> it's there. Now I just have one answer left, and that's the number one answer. Absolutely. That's right, kitties and caddies. You're watching the third episode of the second season of the Breezy Saturday Family View PlayStation Marathon. As soon as I put in the answer of exercise, my cat Tiger wants to be let out, so I'll let him out. Alright, Tiger, I'm coming. I'll let you out. You never know what's going to be up there. I'll let you out. There you go. Exercise. You got it. My number one answer. Alright. Yes. So that's it for our first round. <laughs> round two is about to commence. Now, for those of you out there wondering, yes, this is being recorded on a Friday, but it will be uploaded on the following Saturday. Family number one, you are off to a great start. Filmed on Friday, uploaded Saturday. Let's go. It's time for round two. As Michael Jackson would say, don't stop till you get enough. <laughs> Here we go. Let's do this. Are you ready? Yeah. Name something you can never find when you need one. Oh my. Name something you can never find when you need one. Ben's had this question multiple times. I know. <laughs> I'm giving the answer of police officer first. Exclusively on the Breezy Saturday Family Feud PlayStation Marathon. Good answer, but there's one that can beat it. Next time. Your answer, family number two. Money. Nope. You fail. Is it there? Show it. You fail. Oh, well. Good answer, but it wasn't in our top five. Louie, we're going to play. What are you going to do? Play? Family number one, going to play. Yes, I may be playing Family Feud, but this is not the Steve Harvey version. Not exactly. It's the old Meathead Louie version. I don't think they'll make, they'll make a Steve Harvey version. I hope they don't. something you can never find. The tiger decides to come back That's in the room. the 2012 version. Oh, okay. Yeah, but Steve Harvey ain't the whole some weird guy with glasses, I think is. Yeah. I have that version on the Xbox 360 that Mark gave to me last year. Another player. I need another answer. Okay, the next answer, I'm going to say scissors. Name something you can never find when you need. I hope it's up there for you. Number four answer said by four people. How ironic is that? Good answer. <laughs> <laughs> so, Skype guests, say hello to your first bonus $1,000. Sweet. That's the first bonus money we've given away this weekend. You can never find <coughs> Telephone booth. You never know what's going to be up there. Says Breezy Saturday Family TV PlayStation Marathon. You know what? Just as a practice, hey Mikey. 
Yeah? Name the most destructive animal on Earth. Uh, Corey Lauren? <laughs> I thought you were going to say, my wife. Oh, by the way, oh, by the way, we were going to ask uh, Ben when he comes on if me, Jay, and Hunter could come to the Saturday night reception tomorrow night. Number one answer. Yeah, I'm sure you. Great. Because we haven't been part of it in a while and we'd love to come. I know. Mainly because I've been doing a lot of movie nights, but I promise Hunter we'll take a break from movie night tomorrow night. Let's see how our families are doing after round two. And I'll bring the beer for everybody. <laughs> Ow! Make that Dr. Pepper. You're building up a big lead. I'll bring the Dr. Peppers. Uh, Mikey, you bring the popcorns. <laughs> Just like in Wheel of Fortune for the Xbox 360 when we play on Cruise Week, Mikey's got the sunscreen, Corey, you've got the luggage. <laughs> Where did he go? I don't know. I need a couple more players. <laughs> this time I got the sunscreen, Mikey, you got the luggage. A hundred people serving. There you go, luggage. Everybody ready? Oh my gosh. Name a good place to overhear other people's conversations. The doctor's waiting here. Oh, who's calling me? Oh, it's Veronica. I knew it! What do you think it is, family number? Howdy. What? What? Good answer. Good answer. What's the print date? Oh, okay. Go for it, Viron. Go for it, go for it, go for it. But there are several that can be next time. Get it! All right. I was just giving you. I was just. Oh, okay. Okay. Show me the answer. Okay. Okay, that's no problem. Right now, I'm just doing my breezy Saturday Family Feud PlayStation Marathon. Huh? What I don't know. Okay. Sweet. Oh, okay. Oh, well, I don't know. Name a good place to overhear other people's conversations. Well, it's up to you. You never know what's going to be up there. Right now, I'm just on sure. Skype with Jay, Hunter, Corey, and Mikey. Right on. Exactly. Hey, um, is Jay back yet? Oh, uh, dinner, no. and home, dinner and homework. Okay. Uh, he had to step away for a minute. He's getting dinner and he's about to do homework. I know, but when he comes back, I'll ask him. Oh, yes, I will, you silly. Where are your manners? I think that, I think that was Corey. I don't know. Sorry. Does one have a slipcover in my Pocahontas Blu-ray? It does. Name a good place to overhear other people. Well, to tell you the truth, I got that Blu-ray the day it came out. What's that? I hope it's up there for you. Oh, sweet. That's wrong. Yes, indeed. Oh, cool. My manners are down Mikey's toilet and into his sewer. Okay. Is he ready to come on Skype? Um, she's out right now. She's at Half Price Books. Oh, okay. 
But they were saying if you would like to join us, you can. It's okay. I'm just on with uh, Jay, Hunter, Corey, and Mikey. Right, you only get one strike. Then the other family gets a chance. Okay. I know. Another player from each family. This is the final round before we go to fast money. Huh? Uh, I'll think about it. Top five answers are up on the board. Here we go. <laughs> okay, fine. I won't think about it. Are you ready? I know, I know. I'm just giving you crap. What do you think it is, family number one? Okay. okay. Yeah. Oh, who's this messaging answer? me? Okay. And I gave the number one answer. Check that. What's that? Good answer, number one. Cool. I'm not gonna pass the question. Time for an Atsy Patsy. Pass? Alright. <laughs> We're almost at fast money, and when we go to fast money, Mikey's gonna give a dumb answer. <laughs> yep, I am. I will, in good time. Well, I gotta get some more moolah first. I hope it's up there for you. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> well, it'll be a surprise, Beeron. It's just when you least expect it. You know me. Oh, so I'm all about surprises. Story. The next family can steal. Just be patient, Beeron. All in good time. Next family? Next player? That's your guess. Yeah. What's up? Well, I heard you too. I want to see that answer. There you go. Yeah. Absolutely. Awesome. No, I'm not. I'm happy. Just cause. No reason. <laughs> and okay, I'll talk to you later, Beeron. Okay. Bye. By the way, Mikey, in case you didn't know, Veronica's my girlfriend. Yeah, I didn't need that actually. Oh, okay. I told you. Derp. Okay, Mikey, are you ready? Yep, I'm ready. Now who's gonna go second in fast money? Number one. Huh? You want to, Hunter? Bye. All yours. It's the fast money round. I need two players from your team. Mikey's ready to give his first dumb answer of 2014. Yep, I'm on every side. Yeah, yeah. In our third episode of the new season of the Breezy Saturday Family Feud PlayStation Marathon. Five questions. Good luck. The clock starts. Okay, Mikey, are you ready? Yep, I'm ready. Question number one. Name a Canadian province. Uh, Alberta. Alberta. Good answer. Alberta. Okay. Name a brand of motorcycle. Harley Davidson. Oh, yeah. Them hogs. Harley Davidson. Next. Besides classrooms, name a place in school where kids go. Uh, the gym. Oh, yeah. The gym. Gymnasium. Name something you would expect to find in a man's purse. Oh, man. That's a tough one. How about a... Maybe a black book. Black book? Okay. Is this question number five? Four. Now here's question number five. Oh! <laughs> Name an occupation in which you have to be very nimble. Uh, a stripper. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, stripper. That was a 
very good answer. I'm in love with a stripper. Name a Canadian province. Name a Canadian province. You said Alberta. Survey said 11. It's there. Alright, well, mine's there. Okay, the next question you said to Harley Davidson is a brand of motorcycle. Survey said 44. I figured that'd be number one. Best classrooms, the place at school where kids go. You said Alberta. No, you said the gym. Survey said 27. <laughs> Fail. Something you expect to find in a man's purse. You said a black book. Survey said 3. And finally, an occupation in which you have to be very nimble. Very nimble. You said a stripper. Survey said just as I expected. <laughs> All right, Hunter. Thank yes. You. Mikey got you 85. You need 115, but you can do this. Are you ready? Sure. Question number one. Name a Canadian province. Uh, Ontario. Ontario. That's a good one. Ontario. Next. Name a brand of motorcycle. Name a what? A brand of motorcycle. Brand? Yeah. Harley Davidson? Try again. Uh, pass. I got one. How about, uh, Hon how about Yamaha? I was thinking of that too. Let's go with Yamaha. Besides classrooms, name a place in school where kids go. Library. Good answer. Next. Name something you would expect to find in a man's purse. Repeat that. Name something you would expect to find in a man's purse. Money? Yeah. That's a good answer. And your final question. An occupation in which you have to be very nimble. Name That's it? Okay. Very nimble. Well, dental is showing up, so let's try a dental hygienist. Or just dental. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Let's take a look at your answer. 115 points away from $10,000. Name a Canadian province. Canadian province. You said Ontario. Survey said 26. Over 100. Name a brand of motorcycle. Well, brand of motorcycle. Harley Davidson was number one. You said, ya or I helped you with Yamaha. Survey said 10. Okay. Besides classrooms, a place in school where kids go. The cafeteria was number one. You said library. Survey said five only. Oh boy. Oh. Something you expect to find in a man's purse. You said money. Survey said 30. But do we have enough points for the dental for the $10,000? Occupation which you have to be very nimble. Survey said nothing. So we got 156. That's all right. Yeah, $5 a point. Sorry. Right. We got $780, and that'll do it for this first game of this weekend's Family Feud Marathon, but don't you go away. We still got three games left. We'll see y'all for game number two in just a bit, but before we go, Mikey, yeah. Corey, are you still there? Thank you, Seth, away. Okay, so I guess I'm going to have to do it. <laughs> that's what you get because your dumb answer did not make the survey. <laughs> but that's okay. We'll see if we can win the 10 grade game number two. We'll be right back, folks. Don't go away.